All right, what's up guys? Welcome to Rome. It's a really nice day out here. Just got in last night and this weather is a, a warm welcome from London. I had to lay over in London. The weather was miserable there, but it's pretty nice out here today. And uh, check this out. This is pretty cool. Not sure what that is, but it's a very impressive building. Yeah, I would be a really bad tour guide here. I don't really know what anything is, and I also don't speak any Italian either. But yeah, I'm here in Rome for a week, and then in Florence for another week with my family. We're going on a Rick Steves tour this week in Rome, and it should be a good time. Yeah, right now just kind of walking around, like I said, got in last night, so see what we can find today. So hopefully I'm making my way toward the Trevi Fountain. We went there last night and it was pretty cool at night. Um, I have a feeling it's not gonna be the same during the day. Not as cool during the day, but I think I just found it. Just doing a loop around the block. Probably gonna find some coffee too. Some espresso, yeah. And here we have Trevi Fountain. Definitely looked cooler at night and it's extremely crowded, a lot of tourists. And here it is again from another angle. As you can see, just tons of tourists. Probably the coolest thing that's happened to me so far is last night when I landed in Rome, I noticed there was two Aerolineus Argentina airplanes at the Rome airport and I wondered why. And then I should have taken a picture. So later I found out that the Argentina World Cup team was connecting through Rome and flying through Rome. So that's the closest I'll ever be to Messi like 400 meters, so that was pretty crazy. Yeah, so that fountain was pretty underwhelming during the daytime and very crowded. So maybe I'll go back at night. Not sure how much filming I'm gonna do while I'm here. I kind of only have like two free days in Rome because I'm working at night the rest of the time, so maybe sleeping for most of the day. Um, but yeah, I thought today was a free day, so I thought I'd come film and just walk around and get some coffee, maybe get a haircut, probably not, I just had one, so yeah. Also, there's just an insane amount of gelato shops as well, lots of gelato, but now it's time to find some coffee. Also, the smell of cigarettes always reminds me of Europe, like whenever I smell cigarettes on the street somewhere else in the world, I feel like I'm in Europe. Man, what is this thing? I don't even think I could fit in this. Lots of mopeds, as you might imagine. Just past a McDonald's. Maybe I'll go there for coffee. Now that'd be crazy disrespectful. And as you can see, or as you saw, I got my coffee fix at that little rooftop bar. And yeah, it was pretty cool, a nice view. And now it's probably time to maybe look for some lunch. And yeah, there's just like so many tourists and so many gelato shops. Those are my two observations. But speaking of when there's a lot of tourists, uh, you think about like pickpocketing and stuff, kind of the, I mean, what I do for to avoid pickpocketing, right now I have a jacket on that has like zip up pocket so it's kind of pickpocket proof but um usually i put my wallet and my phone in my front pockets and kind of like subconsciously tap them every couple minutes just to make sure they're still there or just put my hands in my pockets um i know other people have said like you know leave your valuables at home and just bring the cash you need or something so that's another advice as well and stumbled upon this little square here All right, I went in this convenience store and 
I like unique, interesting drinks, so I got this burn energy drink. So let's see how it tastes. Tastes like Red Bull. Yeah, not bad. Burn energy. So this is my first time back in Europe since like 2014. So it's been a while. I just realized that I drank an espresso and a energy drink back to back. So you guys are gonna see how crazy my caffeine addiction is. I didn't even think twice about it. But also look at this. Should I buy this and wear it for next uh, Halloween? Yeah, speaking of like pickpocketing, honestly the biggest thing is just avoiding uh, cars and mopeds and not getting hit. That's like the most dangerous thing I feel like. But yeah, I feel like such a tourist because holding this camera and also I've been using a paper map so I really look like an old school tourist but honestly sometimes the best part about traveling is just like walking around and getting lost in a place kind of like this. All right, got my lunch here, some pasta and a salad. So let's see how this pasta is. Pretty good, pretty good. So what I got was right there, if you can see it, it's just cheese and black pepper. Pretty good, and then a Caesar salad as well. Yeah, solid. And yeah, this building is just massive. Here's a better angle without the sun. Got a nice Christmas tree over here too. Yeah. And I don't know what this building is. Like I said, terrible tour guide. Yeah, that lunch was pretty good. It was like pepper pasta and Caesar salad, pretty solid. Um, but here I am underneath probably one of the more iconic spots of Rome. Flip the camera around and here we are at the Colosseum. Here's another angle. There's a lot of construction and stuff too going on around it, but pretty cool to see in person. Alrighty, trying another drink here. Not sure what it is, but I mean San Pellegrino, but yeah, don't know the flavor really, but felt right to get. Oh, that is not good at all. Oh my God. That's absolutely terrible. I'm not even gonna finish that. All right, what's up guys? Another chilly day here in Rome. Right now headed to the Vatican, so that should be cool. I didn't buy tickets or anything for like the museum or uh, St. Peter's Basilica or the Sistine Chapel, so probably should have bought tickets. I heard the lines are really long, but um, yeah, still gonna go and just check it out, kind of see it from the outside, say I've been there, so yeah. And yesterday, I realized that I didn't use a map at all the whole day. I know I said I was using a paper map. I just had it in my pocket. But uh, yeah, I just left the hotel, walked to where I wanted to go, and somehow kind of found my way back home to the hotel. So I'm proud of myself for that. Also yesterday walked like a little over 10 miles and like 21,000 steps. So that's pretty good as well, I thought. All right, so here we are at St. Peter's Square kind of from the outside here. Gonna try and make my way inside somehow here at the Vatican City. And here we are inside the Vatican. And I think they're kind of setting up for Christmas and stuff, but I don't know, I thought it would be bigger. It's a little underwhelming, honestly. Sorry to say that. I mean, I'm not religious or anything, but I guess for some people this place has a pretty big uh, significance. But it is kind of cool to think that the Pope lives here and, you know, I don't know. When I'm here, I'm just thinking about the Da Vinci Code and all the conspiracies and stuff that are uh, 
maybe going on here. Yeah, probably would have been more meaningful if I had come here on a tour, but you know, at least I got to say I went here. Um, also, if you come here during the summer, just be cognizant that there is a dress code. I read that last night, but yeah, pretty, uh, pretty cool. Like I said, I thought it would be a little bit bigger, but um, nonetheless, it is still pretty cool to be here in person. So this is like the street, this big long street that kind of leads up to the, uh, the square here. As you can see, it's at the end of this street. And yeah, there definitely is an increased like military and police presence here, which is expected, I guess. And same at the Coliseum, but now I'm gonna try and walk to this viewpoint I saw earlier that looks kind of cool. So I had to pick up uh, an espresso. One thing I noticed, uh, last night we took the metro, and then I just noticed now again, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but I feel like Italians have like very small self, like space, uh, personal space areas. Um, well, that car's annoying. Um, yeah, people like, people like bumping into you and uh, standing directly behind you, and the, the metro is just crazy crowded, and it's kind of, a, I don't know, interesting. All right, here's kind of that cool uh, viewpoint of the uh, Tiber, the Tiber River, and then that over there is the Castel Sant'Angelo, I believe. So, yeah, kind of a gloomy, cold day today. But this kind of reminds me of the the Seine River in Paris as well. But got a little nice view over on that side as well. If anyone from the Vatican watches this video, release what's in the Vatican archive that people want to know. Another fun fact is at one point in my life, my career goal was to be the Pope. So this is the closest I will ever get to that because uh, Lord knows I've sinned too much for that to happen at this point. Dang, I just realized I didn't get to see one of those Swiss guards. Kind of wanted to see one of those. I don't know where they're at exactly though. All right, so I came to this other viewpoint of the city and it's honestly pretty good. Nice view of, uh, of Rome here. And I didn't realize it was uh, so mountainous around the city, and not mountainous, but hilly, I guess. A pretty solid view. Yeah, it's a pretty nice spot. You got the good view over there, and then over here you kind of got a nice park. Pretty street, too. And like I said, pretty gloomy, pretty gloomy day today. A little chilly as well. All right, gonna go get some lunch now and show you guys some more food since that's definitely a big highlight when you are in Italy. Yeah, I'm no uh, David Portnoy, but I think that's how you pronounce it, but that prosciutto pizza was like 9.8 out of 10. And also it was like very dead there at the restaurant at noon. And then it started filling up with tourists. So I think Italians eat like pretty late, I guess all their meals, but just picked up some provisions at the grocery store. And yeah, gonna be working at night now, working remote and probably sleeping during the day. So, we'll see how that goes. Alright, what's up guys? Just wanted to show you some different places at night. Because in my opinion, I think some of these places look better and are more impressive at night. So, we're going to check some of those out right now. Thank you. 
And we've arrived here at the Pantheon. Looks pretty cool at night. And let's go inside and check it out. So at first I was like, what's the big deal about the Pantheon? Um, but apparently it's like 1900 years old, like 1900 years old or something like that. So it's really old and then the, uh, the circle that you saw in the middle of the roof is actually open. So it's open to the natural elements and when it rains it comes through there and every once in a while it snows as well, which would be really cool to see. All right, we're coming up on the next spot that looks really cool at night. Yeah, so some of these places just look better at night, in my opinion. So, good to, good to check out at night as well. All right, thank you guys for watching the video here in Rome. Got a couple more exciting things I'm going to do tomorrow, but that's going to be in a separate video. Other than that, up next is Florence.